Hi everyone, my name is Tugalax and welcome back to another video. So personally, a lot of you are probably wondering, who are you? My name is Alex, I'm 16, and I've been making Roblox videos for a while on YouTube, approximately 6 years. In fact, I didn't actually gain recognition until this year, and honestly, it's been a while since I've received actual recognition. I work very hard on my videos, and mostly, it's sad, but I've been discovered through incidents. Which leads me to today's hot video. Hot takes. Let's discuss about them. What can be considered a hot take about Roblox? A piece of commentary typically produced quickly in a response to an event whose primary purpose is to attract attention. Hot takes are primarily not received well and sometimes are good. Depends on how good the take is. Generally, hot takes for me are usually wins, but some are misses. Today, I'll be talking about Roblox hot takes. These Roblox hot takes are typically takes that most don't agree with, and I'll be saying hot takes in this video. These are just general takes about Roblox that I feel people should know my stance on, and let me know, WRL, these takes? It can depend. Some of the takes in this video can include regarding rogue gangsters, the general state of Roblox, and more. Let's get started. My name is Suki Alex, and this is our Roblox drama series, where we get right into the news, drama, tips and tricks, and more. Yo, what's up, my Junior Squad? In fact, this is what I call my fans, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started in this video, make sure to subscribe for this to watch drama, news, tips, and tricks, and more. Don't forget to turn on the bell so you never miss out on the latest. Especially, I see a lot of brand new ones have come from the channels for my music video with Terravent. It will actually come on Spotify soon. Secondly, my break from YouTube is over, I decided, so you know what, let's face this, and so I will. I'm ready to face on the dislikes head on from this video. In fact, let's talk about it. I realized my video received mega dislikes for absolutely no reason, despite the fact it was just literally a harmless song. This was in fact one of my hot takes that got this way. My hot takes can vary absolutely, so the thing I said that was such a crime, ever such a crime, oh so heinous, was that Poke was entitled. I now realize this take I did not explain correctly and it came off as harsh, offensive, and was probably what got most people mad at me. So let me explain my first hot take. I felt this way because of the way Poke worded his post to say I had 1 million followers, I was the first, and the statistics and more made me feel this way. Although I realize now that Poke didn't mean that at all. However, the way Poke worded it sounded off of that way, and I don't feel it was exactly appropriate to bother Roblox, a full company, over a username. The reason why I felt this way was because Roblox often makes no exceptions when it comes to usernames. I'm honestly surprised. Many other social media platforms do this. The rare exception is when it comes to Roblox is on brand years and Poke isn't really considered a brand compared to the rest of the people, but more so a YouTuber. It's very complimented and that's why I feel in such a way. I realized people thought that I was attacking Poke, but the truth is I just gave my thoughts. If I worded the post in such a way, say if I made that take, coming from me it would be taken completely differently. Poke is not entitled, but his post was worded in such a way that made people feel that way. I felt Poke could have worded the post differently. Secondly, if Poke got his own username, I feel that they would have to give many other celebrities a username reset too, which if they went through with it, it would feel as an odd change coming from Roblox. Yes, this would be many beneficial to many people, but will Roblox go through with it? They've given YouTubers who've asked for it limited, so why can't they usernames? I understand this argument that it is very unlikely that Roblox will actually go through with it. So therefore, I felt this way about Poke because A, how his post was worded. B, how this change has never happened before, and so why would it happen now? And C, Roblox barely makes exceptions for YouTubers except in the case of Limiteds and Premium. Let's move on to my second hot take. This one's about rogue gangsters. Oh, rogue gangsters. Mic up. Oh yeah, yes, we all know them. They can be annoying at times, and we know the community has an absolute rage fit when they see them in the club, at the bars of Roblox, and most of all, the dreaded, oh so, TikTok. Now hear me out, here's why Roblox gangsters are often generalized. Most people who people say are rogue gangsters aren't even rogue gangsters. If people want to dress in a certain way that isn't harming anybody, we should respect the way that they want to dress. Not everyone who looks like one is one, and I think people make that mistake, especially with copy and paste outfits. If the way they dress isn't harming anybody, people will go and make massive tweets making fun of people for the way they dress for likes, and it gets a massive clout on Twitter. But seriously, why does it matter? Does it seriously affect you the way a Roblox character dresses? Behaving is different, but of course, 
People of color generalized outfits are always generalized to be rogue gangsters, when the fact of the matter is some people just like dressing in streetwear. And there should be absolutely no problem with that as long as harmful symbols and groups aren't being promoted and or used. Streetwear style shouldn't be considered street gangster. Because the style of streetwear is just for fun and style. It is meant to harm nobody. Symbols, on the other hand, are pretending to be part of a group that harms on Roblox is not alright, obviously, because it is a children's platform, but honestly, copy and paste outfits, people have absolute temper tantrums on over in this community. Please, just let people dress the way they want to dress. If that includes streetwear fashion that isn't harming anybody. Or let's address the aesthetic crowd, or the Bloxburg crowd. A lot of people get their hate from people disliking teenage girls' hobbies because it's cringe. This is a form of mob mentality, and comes from the fact that most things teenage girls do is practically bullied. How about just let people have their fun? There's absolutely no reason to critique someone over their style when it isn't hurting anybody and makes them happy. Moving forward, let's move on to our next take. A lot of people don't believe this one, but the way Adopt Me is, it's actually a decent game. Adopt Me has a lot of people working on it, and most of the issues that the community has brought up, oh, it's scam me, oh, it's scamming, have actually been addressed by the Adopt Me community multiple times to the point where you can report trades and accounts now. They're actively banning so many users a month, and they make players sign a form that ultimately makes you earn your badge to trade. So ultimately, if you get scammed, they teach you how to not get scammed. The Adopt Me site officially advised against tradery or trust trades, by the way, and it is somewhat your fault. Parents should teach their kids basic things on internet safety and internet trading. I don't understand how all of you can critique Adopt Me of its usage to pay to win, but when we grew up with Club Penguin, Toontown, and Moshi Monsters. Remember you had to buy coats at the store that came with the Moshi Monsters? Yeah, I have a whole tin full and I spent over $300 before the shites shut down to add to my collection. Remember Skylanders? To collect things, you had to ultimately spend money. And ultimately, it's the same with Adopt Me. Players enjoy raising pets, like you did with Moshi Monsters when you were a child. You feed the pet, it's entertaining. Neopets, Webkins, do we not remember all of this? How did you have to purchase so many things to collect different pets? I argue that my case with Adopt Me, it is the modern Webkins. And ultimately, you calling it cringe if you played any of these games as a kid was hypocritical. Therefore, Adopt Me is the modern webkins in Moshi Monsters of this day and age, and those who played these games as a kid often have invalid critique from the game when the games ultimately share the same elements. Adopt Me may not be entertaining to you or me, but it is to a lot of people. Adopt Me Scammy has also been addressed by the team and it is in fact not Adopt Me's fault that you got scammed, but ultimately yourself. Most of you trade limiteds and you should know to never trade a limited like this or pets like this, even if it's your best friend, because you know in the digital age that you can't trust many. Lastly, another hot take that I have is that the Roblox Twitter community isn't completely toxic. There are some parts that are toxic for sure, but don't let this move the experience of the whole community. My sister has autism and a lot of people were so supportive with her and her channel that I really appreciate it. Over 2,000 people subscribed to my sister and I's channel, RTC Recap, to support her. That was absolutely amazing and I almost cried, I was so happy. There are genuine parts of the RTC too, like everyone came together to raise money for sick kids for Anthony, who recently passed. The people who say Roblox Twitter community is toxic completely and unsalvageable have not taken into mind the positive part of the community. I just wish people would be more positive and this is coming from someone who literally rants on their platform all the time. Let's go over all my hot takes that I have to say. Poke worded his post completely wrong and this post came off as entitled because of the statistics he used. Is he entitled? No, I just realized that. Rogue gangsters are generalized outfits and not everyone people say that is a rogue gangster is a rogue gangster. People attack the aesthetic community and such are attacking something completely harmless because they choose to. Adopt Me is the modern version of Webkins and people who hate on Adopt Me are ultimately hypocritical. And most of Adopt Me's issues have been solved the best they can. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Peace out.